Hello there, I'm Dr. Mark Everard, and I am the author of a new book, Burbot, Conserving the Enigmatic Freshwater Codfish. Now, what is a burbot? A burbot is a very odd freshwater fish. It's the only freshwater member of the gadiforms, or the cod-like fishes, and so its ecology is really quite different to most other freshwater fishes. In fact, um, burbot are quite widely distributed across the Palearctic, meaning from Alaska, the northern US, Canada, right across sort of northern Europe, northern Asia, very wide distribution. But across that range, huge genetic variability. Many of the better um, surviving populations uh, live in ice lakes, better studied. A lot of the science comes from them. But the lowland uh, Western Europe strain, for example, is, is often found in trout streams in, in the upper Seine, um, some of the upper li rivers of Germany and, and so forth. But in that genetic strain in lowland Europe, really has suffered very badly. They're much smaller fish uh, and they're reliant on floodplains uh, to breed rather than the margins of big ice lakes. There was a British strain uh, which was distinct but close to the Western European strain but that is now extinct. The last specimen was caught in 1969 on the Great Ouse. Rather slavishly the science has been ported from ice lake populations about how burbot live and also about the factors for their decline. Uh, however, the lowland West, West European strain really is a different beast ecologically and behaviourally. Spawns in the middle of winter, needs inundated floodplains for at least two months because the eggs bob around, semi-buoyant, hatch into larvae that live in the plankton for a couple of months and then they drop down to the bed and live out a benthic life as they do as adults. But just to assume that... Um, you know, it, it's a climate change issue that, that has seen their demise, is incredibly naive. It is all a story of floodplain habitat. And of course, in the UK and a lot of Western Europe where the burbot went extinct, we have simply eradicated, inundated floodplain habitat during the winter. So the successes on the continent where burbot have been, burbot have been reintroduced have been on the back of floodplain and river restoration, where they're thriving in the upper Seine, for example, that landscape never went through the mass drainage that we have. And if we have a chance to reintroduce them in lowland Britain, it is in better protected or restored floodplains. The uh, climate change issue is a bit of a red herring because they went extinct in the UK during a period when the climate was in a relatively cool phase. This book is to support their conservation across their global range but very much with a view to uh, getting them back in lowland Britain and bolstering the efforts um, currently coordinated by the Norfolk uh, Rivers Trust, but with a network of people who are very interested in bringing back a species that was eradicated from the landscape in my lifetime and one that I'm very pleased to champion.